We are back here at 912 on your Wednesday morning and happening this Saturday on West Bearskin Lake is Cook County's annual Trout Derby. Executive Director Linda Jurek is joining us via Zoom with a preview of the event. Linda, good to see you. How are you? Great. Good to see you guys too. Well, tell us about this year's Trout Derby. A little known fact, this Trout Derby is old and longstanding. When I was 10 years old, my father and I won the Trout Derby. Whoa. So it's been around a long time. Uh, it's hosted now by the uh, Cook County Ridge Rider Snowmobile Club. And we're so happy that we're able to, to pull this one off this year. No snow does not mean we don't have ice. And it also doesn't mean that we don't have some really good fishing going on, as you see on the screen right now. Um, fishing this year has been pretty stellar because people can get into lakes that they don't typically get into. Um, and the Trout Derby is a longstanding tradition, like I said. So West Bearskin. Happening this Saturday. Linda, is that the average size of a trout? Yeah, that's I was going to say, there? those oh trout my are gosh. huge. Oh, it's probably the hold it out to the camera thing. Well, <laughs> that's right? no lake trout, though. I mean, I feel like the, the trout that I've seen in my life are little. Like, you know, you not know, even a I, foot long. My dad was an avid trout fisherman. We had a cabin on an inland lake growing up, and he would bring home very, very large lake trout. So. You're not fishing in the right place. Clearly, I'm not. Yeah, that was my really. point. <laughs> so tell us, drive north. <laughs> give us kind of a, a rundown of how this all works. Who, who, who can fish? Who can fish? Everybody can fish. Registration, $5 for kids, $10 for adults. If you're a non-member of the Ridge Rider group, it's $20. It really does support the local snowmobile club and the Ridge Rider. Ridge Rider Snowmobile Club is a pretty strong club, and they do a lot of community events. And this would be that really, really sought after and well attended community event. So everybody's welcome. Registration will include your brats, your burgers, fish sandwiches. Uh, look at that beautiful fish yeah. picture. Um, so it's really a family friendly event, like I just referred to. You know, we used to go as a family when I was growing up here, and it continues in that tradition. So um, West Bearskin Lake, uh, have your have your fishing license. Get your stamp if you need one and come on up and see us. It's gonna be a great weekend. Linda, how many people come out for this event? I'm, I'm just thinking if you were doing this as, as a child up there, obviously it's got the history and the longevity. It's something that's a success. So if you're going out this weekend, how many people do you anticipate are gonna be out at Bearskin? I'd say between, I'd say upwards of 200. Wow. Yeah. That's a good number of people. That's like a fun event. It is. And you know, I think that one thing that we've really worked on is to make our events that are really hosted by local clubs, whether it's you know snowmobiling or skiing or whatever it is, we really welcome people to come up and enjoy that, get to know your neighbors up here in northeastern Minnesota. I think you'll find it to be a really great event and you'll meet some really, really fun people that have passion for this area and of course passion for ice fishing. Is there, uh, my assumption is the rule is whoever catches the most trout wins the contest, but is, is there any more complexity oh, beyond thing. that? What's it's that? a size thing. It's not a quantity, it's the size. It's, it's oh, the size. gotcha. Yeah, definitely. So a, a total thing. weight or one, the weight per fish? One fish. Per, per fish. Gotcha. Do you know what you're talking about? It's per <laughs> fish. <laughs> gotcha. So is this you like... obviously You obviously need to come up and enjoy this so you understand this trout derby. If I can catch a trout that size, absolutely. I was thinking too, like, is it... Hardcore competition, or is it more fun, family-friendly? Even the kids are catching the giant fish. It's it's a mix of all, for sure. You're going to get your hardcore fishermen in there that are really going to go for the prizes, but it truly is a fun family day. Lots of families on the ice and enjoying themselves. And like I said, the ice is very safe. Um, we are experiencing very cold right now, which helps. Um, I live on an inland lake. I walk that lake. Our ice is really strong and really good right now. So if that's percolating somewhere in the back of your mind that it's unsafe, not the case at all with this derby. Maybe you mentioned this, uh, but, but I, I didn't catch it for sure. Money on the line here? What, what, are, what are people winning? That's a good question. Prizes. I give me that Prizes. I want to guess it's money. Yeah. Bragging it rights, obviously. Prizes. I won a canoe when I, you know, back when I was little. <laughs> oh, nice. That's good. Tell us about uh, what's going on up there aside from the trout fishing. I, I know it's been a, 
such a weird year weather-wise down here, and a lot of people aren't necessarily thinking about you know traveling the entire state because the assumption is that the weather's also weird up there. But that's not the case. You still have lots of wintertime stuff going on, right? You know, we do have a lot of wintertime stuff. Uh, of course, our partners at Lucent Mountains are still operating, and they have a lot of runs open, so I would suggest that. Um, of course, you can always experience, you know, eating and, and retail in downtown Grand Marais and along the shore. Um, in fact, I was shopping last Saturday before I went to Rochester for Explore Minnesota. And, of course, I have to ask people, what are you doing? And like I've been, like I've been expressing, hiking this time of year is usually kind of not manageable when we have feet of snow. Yeah. But there's access to so many great trails right now. They're frozen, put on your yak tracks. And as a place known for hiking, it's kind of like I want to tantalize people that are usually fall and summer and spring hikers uh, to come now because it's really, um, it's beautiful. And of course, you can't take away Lake Superior. No. You know, we still have this beautiful enchanted space. And, you know, when I drive the shore, I just, you know, I feel so blessed. So if you have never visited here, don't think that summer is the only time. Um, we're always going to flip it around. This is an off year with no snow, but there still is plenty to do in Cook County. Well, Linda, we could use the visitors, so I'm trying to switch everybody's mind thought there. I know, and frankly, I think now would be like a perfect time to go, and this winter in particular, because it's not so unbearably cold, because you can get out there and you can enjoy some of the nature and not exactly. have to be in, you know, 15 layers. Exactly. <laughs> Linda, it was yeah. good chatting with you. Have fun this weekend. Yeah. I, hope right, that, come on up. I hope that you catch a trout I know, right? A big one. A big one. A <laughs> very big one. Thanks, Linda. Oh, picture, Have you on Monday and talk about your price. I do. <laughs> okay, sounds good. So Cook County's annual Trout Derby again. It is Saturday. It is on West Bearskin Lake. A current fishing license is required. Just a reminder.